Hey guys, it's Mark from Migraine Professional. Today, I'm going to be discussing the benefits of a migraine headache. Now, it's really important to understand, and I mean, uh, I know just as well as anyone else, that when we're going through a migraine, that it does not feel um, beneficial to us. It does not feel like we're getting benefits out of it. It feels like like hell, um, and it, it's, it's not fun. But it's important for us to understand that the body has primal mechanisms in it that are working, that are at play, and this is what is creating our experience of reality. So the first and kind of most important thing um, to understand when we're going through migraines is that the body says no. The body is saying no. It's very clearly saying no. The body cannot communicate with us in words. Uh, it has to use symbols and it has to use our own body and our own symptoms to communicate to us what is going on. So this sort of, it forces us into a relationship with ourselves because otherwise we would not be aware. We would not know that something was going wrong right up until we died. So we would not be able to stop it. We would not be able to stop what we're doing. And so our body, it has a, a very primal system in it to help us um, understand that we need to not do this or not do that. And it uses pain because pain is the biggest deterring factor. It is very um, emotionally charged and it's very powerful for making us stop doing what we're doing. It helps us remember that this is a bad experience to not repeat it. So it's important to understand that whenever we um, experience pain, that it's the body saying no. And it's the body giving us a, a method to become introspective and to introspect on itself and understand what is going on. It's the easiest way to make us stop everything that we're doing and just, just in, become introverts, become complete introverts and introspect. So the, the, the simplest kind of explanation is if you have a, a hot fire, you put your hand into that fire, that pain reflex makes you pull that back very, very quickly. It is the same in a migraine. So what happens is that our body goes through oxidative stress. Now, as we know in the other video, I, other video I explained how oxidative stress has actually been found to be the one kind of common connection among all migraines and their triggers. So what happens is our body goes through oxidative stress. It's like rust. It's like, it's, it's the most basic form of damage to the body that it's not able to cope with. So whenever we have more oxidation, then we have antioxidants, we have oxidative stress. So now in the brain, it actually cannot feel. The brain itself does not have any way of sensing pain, but around the brain, we have the meninges. So what happens is that oxidative stress triggers this TRPA1 ion channel, the name doesn't really matter, but it triggers this to tell the meninges that there's, um, and to basically to communicate to the meninges, to the pain sensing area of the brain, that there's a problem, something's going wrong, we need to create pain, and then it creates neurogenic inflammation. And so this neurogenic inflammation it's, it's a good thing. Like well, often inflammation gets kind of battered as a terrible thing. We need to avoid inflammation, but inflammation in and of itself is neither good nor bad. We need a small amount of inflammation or else every time we got a cut, we would die. So we need that inflammation to repair and to bring in a bunch of resources to heal that area. So what happens is that this inflammation begins. And this, in, this, this entire cascade of reactions begin and, and start kind of coming in and, and, and reacting. And what happens is the brain, as a kind of um, response to that oxidative stress that is happening to it, it starts to downregulate its production of oxidants. It starts to create a bunch of antioxidative enzymes to counter the effects of the oxidative stress. It starts what is called neurogenesis, which is the creation of new pathways of neurons. The neurons basically start reaching out and trying to connect with new neurons, creating new pathways um, and new ways of kind of connecting. It, it integrates the brain even more. Um, it prevents apoptosis. So apoptosis is programmed cell death. And it's preventing this apoptosis from occurring, it's saving the cells, it's trying to keep the cells safe. And then 
On the other side, we also got mitochondria of biogenesis. So mitochondria, they create the power for each of our cells, each of our brain cells, each of our neurons. And so it's creating mitochondrial biogenesis, which is the creation of more mitochondria. It knows that it needs to respond to this oxidative stress with more mitochondria that can cope with stress, that can create antioxidants, that can create energy and make the cells more resilient. So it's very, very beneficial in a sense, this inflammation. Then, of course, we get growth factors. Our brain is trying to grow. It's trying to overcome the experience. Just like if we break a bone, that bone, provided we have the right resources, that bone will grow stronger than it was before. But if it doesn't have those resources, if those resources aren't present, then it can't do that. So we want to do the same thing with the brain. Give it the right resources and give it the right nutrients so that it can repair and it can be even stronger than before. And then, of course, stem cells. Stem cells are just basically, they're very, uh, they have a clean slate and they, bec they can become any cell to take any role of any cell, which is very, very helpful in the brain to recover. So what we want to understand is that the body is saying no. When this pain is happening, it is saying no. It's the way for the body to communicate to us. So even though it's not a benefit, it doesn't feel like a benefit at the time, it is actually very beneficial to get the migraine. It is not beneficial to get the oxidative stress that is triggering it, that is leading up to it. All those things that add up to our, add to our trigger levels that get us closer and closer to our threshold. Those are the things that we need to, we need to be careful for. We need to watch out for. Those are the things that we can actually do something about. And then we want to understand is that it's creating neuroinflammation. And so neuroinflammation, it is not necessarily a bad thing. A little bit of inflammation is good, but when this keeps happening, when we keep getting the oxidative stress, when the neuroinflammation keeps being triggered and we start getting into this role of triggering the neuroinflammation, we start developing lots and lots of problems. Chronic inflammation is a bad thing, acute inflammation, good thing. So let me know in the comments, does this make sense? Is this simple for you to understand? And let me know, Do have you ever found a benefit from your migraines or headaches? Has it ever brought you into a closer relationship with yourself, even if it doesn't seem like it right when you're migraining? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Hey, it's Mark from migraineprofessional.com. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe in the bottom left corner. And if you want to learn more about migraines and headaches than you've ever known before, and understand what causes them, what creates them, and what you can do about them, make sure to go to migraineprofessional.com. Thanks.